Hello children, welcome to my class. Today in this session you will be learning about respiration. What is respiration? The process of releasing energy from food is called respiration. The process of respiration involves burning of food in the cells by taking oxygen and then eliminating the waste products like carbon dioxide and water from the body. The process of respiration which releases energy takes place inside the cells of the body. So it is also known as cellular respiration. Respiration is essential for life because it provides energy for carrying out all the life processes which are necessary to keep the organism alive. In most of the cases, the organisms carry out respiration by using oxygen. There are however some organisms which carry out respiration without using oxygen. Based on this, we have two types of respiration. They are aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. What is aerobic respiration? The respiration which uses oxygen is called aerobic respiration. What happens in aerobic respiration? In aerobic respiration, the glucose in the food is completely broken down into carbon dioxide and water by oxidation. In all cases, the first step is the breakdown of glucose, a 6 carbon molecule into a 3 carbon molecule called pyruvate. This process takes place in the cytoplasm. In aerobic respiration, the pyruvate molecule oxidizes in the mitochondria to release 6 molecules of carbon dioxide, 6 molecules of water and 38 ATP of energy. Mitochondria are the sites of aerobic respiration in the cells. Thus, the breakdown of pyruvate to give carbon dioxide, water and energy takes place in mitochondria. Further, the pyruvate may be converted into ethanol and carbon dioxide. This process takes place in yeast during fermentation. Since this process takes place in the absence of air, it is called anaerobic respiration. The energy produced during aerobic respiration is greater than the energy produced in anaerobic respiration. Sometimes when there is a lack of oxygen in our muscle cells, the pyruvate molecule converted into lactic acid which is also a 3 carbon molecule. The formation of lactic acid in our muscles causes painful muscle cramps during sudden activity. The energy released during cellular respiration is immediately used to synthesize a molecule called ATP which is also known as adenosine triphosphate. This ATP is the energy currency for most cellular processes. Since the aerobic respiration pathway depends on oxygen, aerobic organisms need to ensure that there is sufficient intake of oxygen. We have seen that in plants exchange of gases takes place through stomata and the large intercellular spaces ensure that all cells are in contact with the air. Carbon dioxide and oxygen are exchanged by diffusion here. During daytime plant absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen during photosynthesis. At night when there is no photosynthesis carbon dioxide elimination is the major exchange activity in plants. During the day, the carbon dioxide generated is used up for photosynthesis. Hence, there is no carbon dioxide release. Instead, oxygen release is the major event at this time. Animals have different organs for taking up of oxygen from the environment and for getting rid of the carbon dioxide produced. Terrestrial animals can breathe the oxygen in the atmosphere. But animals that live in water need to use the oxygen that is dissolved in water. Since the amount of dissolved oxygen is fairly low compared to the amount of oxygen in the air, the rate of breathing in aquatic organisms is much faster than that see, seen in the terrestrial organisms. Fishes take in water through their mouth and force it past through the gills where the dissolved oxygen is taken up by the blood. In the next class, you will study about respiration in terrestrial organisms including man.